stories tell of a carnival that would travel from town to town. At its head was a man surrounded by mystery, who was known only as Calypso. In it, contestants would battle in vehicles of their choosing for a chance of winning a mysterious prize. Some said this prize was a single wish, anything the victor could possibly desire. But they also say that the stakes for playing were high. The cost of losing one's immortal soul. My master also tells me he did not start life out as a clown. He was once a boy. A boy who dreamt of fire, destruction, and twisted metal! <laughs> I'm happy that you guys enjoy the intros when I leave them in, when I share a classics game, because they bring back a lot of memories, and this one definitely sparks some memories. I remember playing this game at my friend's house, who had this game way before me. I remember the smell of Doritos and the taste of Mountain Dew as we sat inside on a rainy day playing some Twisted Metal. And this, like all the other games I've shared, is one of my childhood favorites. I think this game came out in 1995, which I was 10 years old, but I didn't get to play it until years later. Uh, this was definitely one of those games I wasn't supposed to play, and I'm definitely seeing a pattern in that a lot of the classic games I'm sharing, I wasn't supposed to play as a kid, even though I did. <laughs> this is Twisted Metal. This is actually Twisted Metal 4. I chose this because, to be honest, they all pretty much look the exact same <laughs> as far as the gameplay footage. They did add in some cool cutscenes like you saw at the beginning with some better graphics, especially for the PlayStation 1. But what's cool about the Twisted Metal series, it was off the edge, it was about destruction, it was about metal music, it was about blowing things up. And every single Twisted Metal game on the PlayStation 1 received the greatest hits label. And that is awesome, as I drop the nuke. The nuke from Calypso. And basically what Twisted Metal was, for those of you who don't know, it was essentially a battle royale, using vehicles equipped with weapons. Every character had their own special weapon, as I drove another nuke. And you basically just drove around against CPU or even a couple of real life players, depending on the game that you played, and split screen. And you just tried to blow everybody else up while some kick-ass metal music was playing in the background. And that was pretty much it. The simplicity of this game is what helped it make, uh, which helped make it so much fun and this game actually kind of introduced me to the new metal I mean by the time I played this I was probably around 15 years old and I listened to some old-school metal like Metallica and Megadeth because my bigger brother listened to that stuff but the new school metal which I had never really listened to like Rob Zombie featured in this series it kind of got me into the newer metal and now I listen to old school and new metal and so I can kind of thank the Twisted Metal series for introducing me to newer metal. My mom definitely did not like Rob Zombie, still doesn't like Rob Zombie. <laughs> and she probably still doesn't like it that I play this game now, even though I'm in my 20s. It's okay, mom. It's okay. It's just a video game. But I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about this game, because I know a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my followers, they love the metal music. They love destruction. They love blowing things up. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this game. What kind of memories do you have of playing this game as I fall to my death? I, I even loved dying in this game. It was so much fun. But let me know what kind of memories have been sparked up for you. Let me know if you used to play this game as a kid or if you still play it now. Definitely leave me suggestions for future classic videos. And I'm going to try and get one up every Thursday. So we'll see how that goes. As always, thanks for watching. Later.